Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! So, these guys right here, the Ocean Chimps, they are the Underfoot, protectors of the sacred home of Ranakau, the Volcano God. And they also worship these feet up here. These feet are undoubtedly the feet belonging to the Moai statues above ground. You see, we are currently on Easter Island, which is going to be kind of destroyed by something, I'm assuming the volcano, and we need to kind of try to put a stop to that. There's a bit of a problem though. Sam and Mash have been sentenced to death by... if we can see him from down here. There he is. Up there. Inside the water cooler is the ghost of Mr. Spatula who has kind of taken the role of High Priest here. We need to try to prove that Max is the actual High Priest, even though he isn't. Let's see if we can learn how to do that. What are these prophecies the High Priest has to fulfill? Prophecies say, true High Priest will be anointed by the feet, will perform miracle to feed us, and the island would show us his true face. Ah, uh, yes, the white clam. If we can find a way to put some bunny ears on that clam, that will probably deal with the true face situation. But as for these others... Explain this whole anointed by the feet business. The great feet speak to us through the high priest. The outsiders stand under the great feet. They move to show they accept him. What kind of miracle are you guys looking for? Prophecies say the high priest feed us all by turning water to banang. Banang! Banang! Banang? A delicious banana flavor drink that fortified with essential vitamins and minerals. Niacin! Riboflavin! Banana flavored drink. I will write that down because that sounds important. Banana flavored drink. There are some drinks at the tiki bar up above. I wonder if them would be helpful. What do you mean about the island showing his true face? Prophecy say image of true high priest will appear to us in the cavern. That prove our high priest is the one. Look! You mean that image of Max? What? You crazy! That no look anything like Max! Max have two ears! That just a seashell. Rock next to it look exactly like High Priest though! It miracle! Thanks for the reminder. We'll be back. So there's already one rock over there by the Maxis clam. Wonder where we're gonna find another rock. Could it have to do with the granite sandwich? Not happening. Nope. Still no idea what that's for. Another one of nature's horrifying wonders. Now I gotta agree with the chimps, Sam. That looks nothing like me. Give it time. Also, let me bring the Twitch chat back in focus. So, let's see where we are. In order to stop the giant volcano from erupting and destroying the island above us and everyone on it, we need to usurp the office and powers of the High Priest of the Underfoot, who happens coincidentally to be our pet goldfish, Vice President Spatula, mysteriously returned from the dead. Did I miss anything? They want to kill us at sundown! Right, I keep forgetting. Okay, well, had I known he could have recapped for me, would have saved me a bit of time there. So, let's see where we are. In order to be I notice we seem to be able to breathe underwater for some reason. You're breathing? They already explained that last time. I like it down here. No mosquitoes. Yeah, but I think I just swallowed some krill. It was mildly unpleasant. I've got a kind of a funny taste in my mouth. 
I think they're chlorinating the oceans now. Let's talk more later. More than what? So that's going to be the exit right there. Anything else if we... Wow, this room is big. Wow, okay, there's a lot to look at down here. Oh, there's the plane Crates of... Full of video games about crates. There, there's the plane belonging to Glenn Miller, I assume. What was this again? Crates full of video games about crates. Hmm, clever. Hmm, the plane's radio still seems to be working. Hello? Hello? Is anybody out there? Interesting. Okay, this is going to be more complicated than I thought it would be. Attention, Charlie, India, Oscar, one zero one seven two zero zero six. Tora, Tora, Tora. Ah, crap! Stuff again. Marge, have you seen my flight jacket? You're listening to Get the Let Out Weekend on one o seven point seven KSAM. KSAM Easter Island. <laughs> we are observing your Earth, and we'd like to make a contact with you, baby. Over and out. What else we got? Oh, this will be fun. Attention, Charlie, India, Oscar, one zero one seven two zero zero six. Tora, Tora, Tora. And we're back for Max and S Dog in the morning. Let's skip the small talk, Sam, and get straight to the pranks and racial slays. We are observing your Earth. <laughs> We have come at last. Prepare to meet your doom. I'm loose. I'm ready for you suckers to just try and find me. We heard that, Bosco. We are not amused. Ah, can't talk. Gotta go. <laughs> what else we got? Just respond if you can hear me. We... Okay. There's definitely going to be some difficulty figuring out what to do with this. None of this stuff out here. What if we, what if we, what if we do this? Oh, that's just getting this out of there. Hold on a sec. This is important. Hmm. Some interesting seaside reading. Is it piloting for imbeciles? Nope. The desperately lonely traveler's guide to Easter Island. For the most relaxing trip on Easter Island, bring plenty of basalt. It's a mind-altering substance for the Moai that helps them tune in, turn on, and drop out. Where, where are we going to get some basalt? Max? I was hungry! <laughs> hey, it's our missing bowling ball, Lou. I'd assumed he'd gone on strike. <laughs> Comments like that are yet another reason you need to get me that harpoon gun. Okay, we got another thing here. Our inventory is filling up. We got travel guy now and the bowling ball. It's the Desperately Lonely Traveler's Guide to Easter Island, 1963 edition. For the most relaxing trip on Easter Island, bring plenty of basalt. All right, basalt. Where are we going to get basalt? Oh yeah, there's also a gong down here, so there'd be a reason to, like, do a teleporter thing. Another pressure gauge. We've dealt with one of those before, so we're going to want to try to make something explode, I assume. It's the entrance to the lava machine. That's only used by High Priest. We're in his entourage. His entourage is just me. Only I can open magic door. Wait, so Mr. Statula is the one that is trying to blow up the island? 
It's that sea snail's disgusting red residue. It's an incontinent sea snail. I hope that's red ink and not something else. The world beneath the sea is both wondrous and completely disgusting. And now we got a snail. We're getting a lot of stuff. What is it all going to be used for? Surprisingly, the TV is not a thing. You know, usually when we get to these three challenges, that means we're pretty close to the end of the chapter. We'll just do it, deal with them and then deal with the chapter boss. But this is looking to be like the most complicated set of challenges so far. Looks like the pressure's building. We've got to turn it off. Looks like some kind of master control lever. That magic push to talk phone lets you talk to Volcano God. Only Hyperius get to use it. Oh, okay. That is why we want to become High Priest then. It's Mr. Spatula. That High Priest Spatula to you. It's the crown of the High Priest. I like how they've taken the foot-oriented ministry and just run with it. Stalactite. That precariously hanging stalactite looks awfully familiar. How do we get that down? Our guns don't work underwater. Reason 976 to get me that harpoon gun. I'm not going to ask about the other 975 reasons. I'm all bowled out. I'm all bowled out. So we got two gongs down here, which means we could teleport either the gold teleporter or the blue teleporter. The question is, which one would we want? Well, let's start with the gold one. Now, it's kind of a shame that the teleporter doesn't, like, drain this area of all of its water. The portal, that is. Even if we could reach them, I don't think they're ticklish. Well, there goes that idea. I don't know if I'd worship these guys, but they do have a lot of soul. But I'm chew. Eerily accurate. Right down to the finely sculpted hangnails. The water cooler is one of the most often repeated forms appearing in nature. Whee! It's some kind of ceremonial urn. We eat ritual food from there, like still beating hearts of victims or party mix. Hmm. Well, the first thing I'm going to try is bringing a thundercloud down here. Man, so much stuff to consider. Oh, Abe, isn't it beautiful? With that gentle breeze and that melody in the air. Mm. Abe? Ever since those heads started talking, you haven't heard one word I've said! Right. What? Oh, I mean, did they talk? I, I hadn't noticed. So anyway, for our next vacation, Hey, Wendy. We... Sybil, I mean, Sybil. Have you ever thought about getting some surgery done? What? I was thinking, if you had your nose stretched out some, maybe squared off the head a little, you'd look fantastic. Not that you don't look nice now, of course. That is it! You've done nothing but stare at her this entire time! 
come on, I'm a man. I'm not made of stone. Well, you know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean, all right. You're just in a mood. No, I'm not. I will long remember what you said here, and I will never forget what you did here. I just can't believe you'd insult me like this. And on my birthday. Did somebody say birthday? <laughs> wow. And again, I forget to bring my video camera. <laughs> so, is that mariachi guy going to be a running gag this entire season? Oh right, I wanted to do this. Have another listen to this new hit. This probably isn't the answer. How's that dirt tasting? Yeah, the scene doesn't even change when it's underwater. There's something else we're going to want to do here, and I'm not sure what it's going to be. But, uh, we got a lead. Things didn't go so well with Sybil, huh? Eh, she was cramping my style anyway. So, Miss Moai, how are you doing? Get bent, beardy. Fair enough. Want us to put in a good word for you with Sybil? Nah. I've still got a shot with the locals. Not even after another thousand years. Wow, I haven't seen rejection on that scale since I whopped you in the last election. Maybe it's not too late to make it up to Sybil. I don't know, Sam. He really screwed the pooch on that one. She'll come back. They always do. Mary Todd, Sybil, the South, they just can't stay away from the L man. <laughs> Still enjoying the island, Mr. Lincoln? Oh, God, I'm so lonely. Still enjoying the island, Mr. Lincoln? Oh, God. Okay, that's the end of that loop. Let's follow Sybil. Okay, I thought Sybil would be out here, but she's not. But hey, as long as I'm here, what are the contents of all these? The diaper rash. Ingredients? Bourbon, guava juice, mint, and talcum powder. The pacifier. Ingredients? Kerosene, pepper spray, dihydrocapsaicin, and wasabi. No, none of those have any banana in them. And Sybil's not here. I thought she ran off in that direction, but maybe she didn't. Oh well, through the portal we go. There's also the Maddie, the, the matter, the matter of Jimmy Two Teeth. Does he have a purpose yet? Holding up in a giant robot is no way to live, Jimmy. Hey, you're just jealous. I hate it when he's right. Maybe one of the things we got now will be useful for this situation. No. -uh. I'm all bowled out. What would the bowling ball be useful for? Is Sybil here? Sybil's office is closed. Maybe here? Hi, Stinky. What? Oh. 
flint paper is no longer here. That must be important. I wonder. Nope. Nope. Well, let's check out Bosco. Maddie is suggesting that maybe we made Bosco leave. I'm not sure what that would do for us, but let's go ahead and see. Yeah, sure enough, he's gone. What does that do for us, I wonder? Oh, oh, oh. Bosco Tech Cryogenic Chamber and Ice Cube Maker. Nope. Um. Gotta be able to use this uh, stuff here for something. Nope. No siree. Nah. I can see that well enough already. I was going to make a pun about a developing situation, but I thought better of it. Oh, I, I dropped the snail. Try it again. No. -uh. Oh, oh! Think Bosco would mind if we helped ourselves to some banane? Good question. Another good question. One can or two? One should be plenty. Well, we got what we came for. Let's just go ahead and head back there and take care of this right now. That at, at least take care of one of the prophecies. But is it really this simple? It often isn't. Oh wow, the inventory is so big we actually have a scroll arrow. Hey chimps, watch as High Priest Max performs a great miracle. Oh mighty feet, hear my command! What was once water, make flavorful drink for my people. What was once colorless, make yellow. That not impressive. What was once without sustenance, make enriched with calcium, which is something our bodies need anyway. Just get on with it, Max. Eureka! Banang! 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 Eat like a party in the moat. Eat miracle! Mighty feet grant you great power. But you still not satisfy all three prophecies. Rules very explicit on this. Show us two more and we're convinced. One down. I wonder if the feet up there will knock down the stalactite. Stalactite, rather. I wonder. Nothing doing. Not happening. No way. It's an idea. Mm, but I think I'll try something else, or maybe continue with this idea, after we go through an episode break. So, I would like to thank my patrons for being my patrons, including my special sponsor, Lit Dragon. When we come back, we're going to continue looking through these prophecy situation needs. Something like that. We'll make progress. As we always do. Or, uh, well, as I prefer to always do, at least. 